Yo, what is up guys? My name is AFC Indino and today I can finally give you guys uh, a guide on how to build a team in Pokemon. This video has been requested a lot by the community so I'm very glad that I can finally make this video. Uh, we will be covering uh, how we can build a balanced team because I don't like stall and I don't, don't think a hyper offensive if is consistent for everyone to play. So before we start, let's talk about a few things. The first thing is, since move tutors and transfer moves are not in the game, I won't be uh, I won't be prioritizing hazard removal because um, only a few Pokemon are viable in these roles, and you can only get defog through leveling up and through through nag move. So a lot of Pokemon cannot get defog because it's a tutor move or it's a transfer move. And this is why I won't be prioritizing hazard removal. The second point is a lot of Pokemon are still not, not released. This game is still in beta. So with Blissey running around in every team and Landorus T and Rocky Helmet not being in the game, uh, I will be focusing on physical offensive course. <clears throat> the third point is the Pokemon and sets that I show in this video are just examples to give you guys an idea on what kind of Pokemon to use. Uh, by no means are these the best Pokemon or even the best sets to use. They're just to give you guys an idea on what to think of. Um, another point is when building a team do not worry about countering every Pokemon in the game because with only six Pokemon that's just impossible. The, most, the two most important things are uh, you need a game plan and you need good offensive and defensive coverage. And our last point is, make sure to add status moves like Toxic, Will-O-Wisp, Sleep Powder, Thunder Wave, and that kind of stuff in your sets. That's all up to you. Well, our team will consist of a Wall Breaker and a Sweeper. So that are the two first Pokemon. Then we will add a bulky Water Resist with an Ice type attack. Our fourth Pokemon will be a Pivot, something that we can switch in and can use your turn or, for, or full switch to bring in your wall breaker or sweeper safely. And our fifth Pokemon will be a Pokemon with hazard support, something that can set up the stealth rocks, that can throw down the spikes or toxic spikes, and just be annoying for your opponent. And our last Pokemon, depending on our on our team, will be a special wall of it or a special hitter. And once we covered all these all these points. Uh, we will be showing you guys an example and lastly I will show a meta list to see if your team can deal with the current meta. <clears throat> well, with wall breaker I mean something with a hard hit which a wall cannot switch into and lift the second hit. So some good examples are Adam and Garchomp with Life Orb and the Earthquake. Two hit KOing most things. M same with Mamoswine, Life Orb, Earthquake. Medicham with Life Orb and the High Jump Kick also uh, 2 hit KOs most things, even 1 hit KOs, uh, things that are not supposed to switch into phys physical attacks. And Heracross with the clo Life Orb to close combat also does a lot of damage, a 2 hit KOing most physical walls that don't resist the attack. And for our Sweeper slash Cleaner we need something that can boost its, special atta uh, its physical attack and has a way to attack first. Uh, like a scissor with bullet punch or a Gyarados with dragon dance um, increasing the speed too. That will basically be the physical core. Then next we will add a bulky water resist uh, because Scald is one of the most uh, competitive used moves in the game. Cause it is, it's an 80 base power move with a 30% chance to burn your opponent. And for the people who don't, do not know what a burn does, a burn um, has the attack of the Pokemon that is burned. So if if uh, something has 350 attack then they will have 175 attack instead. And bur burn also does 6% damage every turn. So we need something that can switch into the Scald does not, and does not mind getting burned. So some good examples are Slowbro, Milotic, Tangrove, 
and Mantine. <clears throat> um, another important thing is these Pokemon need an Ice type attack because Garchomp and Dragonite needs to be taken care of, and these Pokemon are very good for those role for that role. Um, Ice Beam does a lot to those Pokemon, and Hidden Power Ice does a lot too. And these Pokemon also need to be able to hit uh, Gyarados because they can definitely resist and tank the Waterfall, but they need something to hit hit it back. And Ice Beam is a neutral hit, and Tank Rove can hit Gyarados with the Giga Drain. <clears throat> so that's basically the bulky water resist. Um, next up is our Pivot. I'm sorry guys, but my throat really hurts. So I will still wanted to make this video, but yeah, let's continue. Uh, next up is a Pivot, so we need something that can switch into most attacks. Uh, and then can use U-turn or Volt Switch to bring in your Wall Breaker or your, or your Sweeper. Because you, you, you basically do not want to switch them into incoming attacks. Uh, ideally, you do not want to let them take any damage at all. Um, so, so some good examples are Crobat. Crobat has, has very good typing. He resists the Earthquake, 4 times resists Fighting Attacks, 4 times resists Grass Attacks. Zapdos also immune to ground, ground type attacks, resist fighting, resist steel. So very good scissor. Also has a very good typing, only weak to fire type attacks. And Lantern. Lantern can swi switch into almost every Volt Switch user because uh, with the Volt Absorb, it's not a hidden ability by the way, so it's very easy to get. Um, Choice Specs from Magnezone is 4 times resisted because Vol uh, Lantern is a electric and water type Pokemon and he does not care about hidden power ice. And with Protect, he can get some uh, recovery with leftovers. <clears throat> so that will be our pivot. Um, next up is our Hazard Support Pokemon. So some good Pokemon are Tyranitar, Skarmie, Fortress, Roserade, Tentacruel, Steelix, Venomoth, and Frostlass. Uh, depending on your team, you can choose uh, which Pokemon you want. There are also some other options, but I like these options the most. And our last Pokemon will be a special wall or a special hitter. The reason why you want a special wall is because most of the times you are using a bulky water Pokemon as your physical wall. <coughs> So you need something that can switch in to that Volt Switch, like Blissey. Blissey does not care about any attack of the Volt Switch users. Same goes for Umbreon. Your Paladin is immune to Volt Switch and can easily eat up a Hidden Power Ice and slack off later. Uh, your Paladin um, does also not, not get 2 hit KO'd by a, um, a modest Choice Packs Flash Cannon from Magnezone. So that's also crazy. And Tyranitar can also deal with those Pokemon and use Pursuit to get some chip damage off. <coughs> and even Flash Cannon from Choice Packs, Magnezone does around uh, 50 to 60 percent, I think. So that's just crazy uh, with a specially defensive Tyranitar. But if you if you have that roll covered, if you have a Pokemon that can deal with Electric type attack and can can tank special attacks, you can use a special attacker. So some good special attackers are Alakazam, Magnezone, Nidoking and Gengar. Now we basically have an idea on, on how to build a team. So let me show you guys some examples. The first team is Garchomp, our physical wall breaker with the Earthquake and Life Orb it ha with, and an adamant nature. Next up Scissor with the Sword Stance and a Priority Bullet Punch. Getting um, getting strong bullet punches off. Tangrowth as a water resist with a with the hidden power eyes, being able to hit Pokemon like Garchomp and Dragonite. Zapdos as our pivot, I uh, can switch into a lot of attacks with max HP, and then can use U-turn to bring in Garchomp or Scissor safely. Tyranitar with the Stealth Rocks and Taunt, preventing the opponents from setting up their own entry hazards and. Um, and uh, stopping those Pokemon from being annoying. So it can use Taunt on things like Blissey to stop it from healing or throwing out status moves. And then we have Blissey with Aromatherapy 
uh, being able to switch into those full switch attacks and pretty much tank any special attack. And aromatherapy allows uh, r relieves the pressure on Zapdos and Tangrowth when they are toxic. The next team is Heracross as our physical wall breaker with the close combat and life orb. He can even set up uh, set up his attack on his own with Swords Dance. But even without Swords Dance, he can break a lot of walls. Then we have Gyarados as our sweeper slash cleaner with the Dragon Dance and Taunt, being able to set up and potentially sweep the game. Milotic as our physical uh, wall and water resist, uh, being able to also hit Pokemon like Garchomp and Dragonite with the Ice Beam. Scizor uh, with a specially defensive set, uh, allowing us to bring it in against Pokemon like Alakazam. I pressure it with U-turn or even Roost Up. Uh, Roserade, our spike support, entry has its support, being able to throw, throw down the spikes and synthesis to heal itself up. Uh, Hippowden, um, as our special wall, also immune to full switch. Our last team is Machamp as our physical wall breaker. Close combat pretty much destroys any any physical wall. Skarmory gets to hit KO'd after stealth rocks. Dragonite as a sweeper slash cleaner with the Dragon Dance and a coverage on Dragon Client, Fire Punch and Extreme Speed as the priority move. Slowbro, our physical wall, also our water resist and with Ice Beam also able to hit Dragonite and Guard Jump and, and Gyarados and Zapdos as our pivot, uh, same as the first team and Steelix our Stealth Rock user and with specially defensive bulk also our, uh, our electric uh, immunity and Alakazam as our special wall. Now here I made the checklist of the current meta. If you can, if your team can deal with these kind of Pokemon, then your team should be fine. Um, let's, let, let's take an example of the first team. How does the first team deal with Mamoswine? <coughs> We have our scissor with the bullet punch which is super effective. Tangrove can live on Icicle Crash and hit him with a Giga Drain. Blissey can tank a hit if it needs to with the Seismic Dose bringing it in range of bullet punch. Breloom. Tangrove easily counters Breloom. Uh, even after some sword stances Tangrove won't die to Mach Punch. And Zapdos are resisting both Breloom stab moves. And being able to use Toxic and Discharge to wear it down. He, do he has to care about the Rock Tomb, but even Rock Tomb will knock it out. An un unboosted Rock Tomb, that is. Um, next up, we have Alakazam. Scissor, one hit KOs uh, Alakazam with Bullet Punch. Uh, Zapdos can live one hit and get off a Discharge or U turn to get some chip damage off. Tyranitar has Chopple Berry, so he can live the Focus Blast. And Blissey can pretty much tank any hit from Alakazam, even Sci an unboosted Psyshock. Gengar is kind of the same as uh, Alakazam, but the Gengar is a bit tankier, so he you need to get some chip damage off, but Scissor has the Bullet Punch. Uh, Zapdos can also live a hit and hit him with a Discharge. Tyranitar can live at the Focus Blast with... Uh, Tyranitar can live the Focus Blast with the Chupple Berry, and if it's a Life Orb Gengar, then Blissey can stall out his Life Orb. With his recovery. <clears throat> Suicune. Um, Garchomp can. If, if it's a bolt. If it's a bolt. Um, bolt Suicune. Then Garchomp 3 hit KO's it. If it's a timid Suicune. Then Garchomp can 1 hit KO it. After Sword Stance. Um, Tangrove resists his water attacks. And can throw some Giga Drains. Zapdos can use Toxic. If he doesn't have rest. And can throw out discharges. And Blissey can also use Toxic and stall it out. Tyranitar can use Roar if it has too much too many Calm Minds up. And it can use Taunt to stop it from uh healing from resting or from setting up Calm Minds. Scissor, Zapdos resist all all scissors moves and can 1v1 it with discharge, potentially paralyzing uh, Scissor, which definitely will slow Scissor down. Because a, a one one uh, one para hex can mean that Scissor won't be able to heal, and then Scissor can uh, Zapdos can just knock it out. Guard jump has Fire Blast, and Tangrove 
uh, can live a U-turn, so it can potentially get off a knockoff if Scissor stays in. <clears throat> Guard Chomp, uh, Tangrove has Hidden Power Ice. We do have to care about the Fire Blast, but Fire Blast does not, not one hit KO Tangrove. Um, Scissor can do around 40% with an unboosted Bullet Punch. Septos can throw off a Toxic. And Blissey can also live a hit and use Seismic Toast to uh, get some chip damage off. Allowing um, Scissor to knock it out later. Dragon Knight, we have our Tangrove 2. Zapdos can also throw off a Discharge. And Tyranitar can actually uh, break the multi skill with the Sandstream ability. And if Dragon Knight doesn't have a Dra Dragon Dance up, then Guy Jump can also knock it out. Gyarados, Tangrove pretty much uh, resist the water attack and the ground type attack in Earthquake and can throw off Giga Drains. Zapdos has the 4 times super effective uh, discharge and Garchomp can also do a lot of damage with Dragon Claw if, uh, uh, if Gyarados hasn't set up a Dragon Dance yet. Magnezone, Blissey can pretty much switch in. Garchomp can potentially switch into a Volt Switch or Thunderbolt. Tyranitar can live a hit and hit him with a crunch. Crobat gets completely destroyed by Zapdos or Tyranitar. <coughs> and Blissey. Eh, Blissey as defensive Pokemon. Th these are all the defensive Pokemon in the meta that we want as a, in our checklist. Uh, Blissey gets destroyed by Garchomp. Because Garchomp can set up, set up a Dragon Dance easily. Because he does not care about the Thunder Wave. He does not care about a Flamethrower. If, if the Blissey throws of a Toxic, then Garchomp gets a free Dragon Dance off, uh, a free Sword Dance off and hit him with the Earthquake. Uh, Scissor has only has to worry about the uh, Flamethrower, but it can also set up and Tangrove can use Knock Off. Tyranitar has Taunt, which prevents Blissey from doing annoying things. Tangrove, Zapdos can throw off Toxic and stall it out. Scissor can, um, can set up if he doesn't have Hidden Power Fire. Garchomp has Fire Blast, which 2 hit KOs Tangrove. Quagsire, um, Garchomp. Garchomp has a chance to knock it out uh, to, to 2 hit KO it after Stalled Rocks. It's about a 83% chance. But you will, you, you will need some uh, chip damage on it most of the times. But Tangrove has the Grass Attack, which is 4 times effective. Zapdos can throw over Toxic and stall it out because. A Quagsire cannot touch Zapdos at all. Uh, Milotic. Uh, Garchomp uh, one hit KOs it after, st after Swords Dance. And two hit KOs it with an unboosted Earthquake. Scissor with this set is faster than Milotic. So he can U-turn off, get some chip damage off. And bring in something like Zapdos. Zapdos has Toxic and a super effective Discharge. Tangrove has the Giga Drain and has the knockoff. And Blissey has the Toxic and can stall. Out um, the Milotic. Skarmory, Zapdos has the super effective, effective discharge. Garchomp 2 hit KOs it with Fire Blast, and Tyranitar can use Taunt and beat it down with Crunch. So that's basically the first team. We can also look at a team with a special attacker, uh, if it's viable or not. So let's let's check out the third team with the checklist. Mamoswine, if Machamp is full, close combat knocks it out. Dragonite can use Extreme Speed, which is faster than uh, Ice Shard. And Slowbro, Slowbro completely walls Mamoswine. And no matter, what he, no matter what he does, Earthquake is easily uh, tanked. And Icicle Crash does nothing. And then Slowbro can fire off Scalds. <coughs> uh, Steelix can potentially live a hit and hit, hit him with the Heavy Slam or Earthquake. And Reloom, uh, Dragonite. Resist the Mach Punch so we can knock him out with Fire Punch. Um, Machamp also knocks it out. Mm, Zapdos, li like in the like the first team, can also deal with Breloom. And Alakazam is faster, so as long as Breloom doesn't have too many Swords Dances up, uh, even Alakazam can just knock it out. Um, Alakazam, you can <laughs> you can use you can win the Speed Time maybe. <laughs> Steelix. Um, can live one focus blast 
and uh, get a lot of damage with Earthquake or Heavy Slam. Zapdos can live one hit, can use U-turn or Discharge. And even Slowbro can live a, a Shadow Ball from full and hit, hit him with the T-Wave. And Dragonite can also live hit, go for Dragon Dance and kill him with Extreme Speed. And my champ. Um, by the way, if Dra Dragonite gets off on Dragon Dance, then he can just kill him with Dragon Claw. And my champ has the Bullet Punch. Gengar, kind of same story. Dragonite can get off a Dragon Dance and, and use Dragon Claw. My champ has the Bullet Punch if if uh, Gengar is low enough. Uh, Zapdos can live on hit and hit him with the Discharge. Steelix can live on Focus Blast and hit him with the Earthquake. And Alakazam is obviously faster. Suicune, you can run Energy Ball on Alakazam because you already have the Fighting type coverage with uh, Machamp. Um, Zapdos has the super effective Discharge. Can also use Toxic if uh, Suicune doesn't have Rest. And Dragonite can uh, maybe get up some Dragon Dances because if he gets burnt, he always has the Lum Lumberry in the back. And if Machamp gets. Uh, if Machamp gets burnt, then he will do a lot of damage with close combat. <coughs> Scissor, Machamp to hit KO Scissor with close combat. Dragonite has the Fire Punch. Slowbro resists the Bullet Punch and can live a U turn. And yeah, Zapdos pretty much resists all his stab moves and can 1v1 him with the Discharge. And Steelix also resists uh, all Scissor's moves because Scissor is not using Brick Break in this meta game. And he cannot learn superpower. So even Steelix can set up and do a lot of damage with Earthquake. Guard Jump. Guard Jump uh, gets countered by Slowbro with Ice Beam. Dragonite has extreme speed. Machamp has the priority move. And Zapdos can use Toxic. And Alakazam is faster. So you, had, you definitely have ways to deal with the Guard Jump. Uh, Dragonite, same story. Uh, you have your slow bro with the ice beam. Uh, Steelix can live an earthquake and hit him with a heavy slam. Uh, Machamp has bullet punch, but he also has extreme speed, and you can always use extreme speed on Dragonite. <coughs> Gyarados, you have your Zapdos. You have slow bro who can who can deal with uh, a dra dragon danced uh, Gyarados. Can use ice beam. And waterfall won't do too much. And you can always use your extreme speed with Dragonite if it's low enough. Magnezone. Steelix uh, is immune to the electric type attacks. Resist, resist the uh, steel type attacks. And can live hidden power of fire. And if he goes for hidden power of fire you can knock him out with the earthquake. Alakazam is faster so he can hit him with the shadow ball. Um... Dragonite is faster, he can hit him with the Fire Punch. And Machamp can live a, a Specs Thunderbolt from full and knock him out with the close combat. Crobat gets completely walled by Zapdos and Steelix can also deal with Crobat. Slowbro can fire off some Skulls. And Dragonite, after two Dragon Dances, will knock it out with Dragon Claw. Now for the defensive Pokemon to uh, to check, uh, we have Blissey. Blissey gets destroyed by Machamp. Um, Dragonite can also set up some Dragon Dances against Blissey. Steelix can also set up because Steelix is immune to Toxic, is immune to Thunder Wave. Uh, Tangrove, Zapdos can use Toxic and stall it out. Dragonite has the Fire Punch. Machamp can do a lot of damage with the close combat, around 40% I think. And Alakazam uh, does a lot of damage with the Stab Psychic because uh, Tangrove has no special defense at all. Um, Clefable, also Alakazam to hit KOs a physical defensive Clefable. Steelix can set up some curses and use Heavy Slam. And if it's an unaware set, you can use Toxic with Zapdos and wear it down. Uh, Quagsire, you can also use Toxic with Zapdos because Quagsire definitely cannot touch Zapdos. Alakazam uh, with Energy Ball, one hit KOs it. And Machamp also two hit KOs it after Stealth Rocks with the close combat. 
even without close combat, uh, my Machamp will not 2 hit KO it. My Lotic, Machamp also 2 hit KOs my Lotic. And if my Lotic scalds and burns Machamp, then uh, Machamp will become a monster with close combat. Dragonite can set up some Dragon Dance if my Lotic doesn't have Ice Beam. Uh, Zapdos can obviously has Discharge and you can use Toxic. And Alakazam also to hit KOs and my Lotic. Skarmory, you have your Zapdos. Dragonite can Dragon Dance and Fire Punch. And Close Combat um, does around 40 to 50% to Skarmory, so that also does a lot of damage. So that's basically the guide guys, I hope this guide helped you and if it did make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel to see more PvP content. But for now uh, I will be ending this video, I will be uh, playing some more PvP games in the future once the problem is fixed in with the, with the team preview in Pokemon. And once that's fixed I will also stream more on Twitch stream some pvp games so also follow me there but for now peace out see you guys next time